Welcome to eBike Tips, and we're off on an adventure today on this uh, Moustache Samadhi X Road 27. And the nice chaps at Bosch have given us a neon head unit to use. We're going to be trying that out today. Now, if you don't know the neon, it's the top of the range head unit in Bosch's system. So most of the bikes you'd normally see for sale come with their Purion unit, which is a little remote that sits on the bars, has a little LCD display and gives you all the information you need. It's very good. Uh, the next up one from that is the Intuvia, which sits in the middle, has a remote here. And that's uh, an older model. You still see it on some, some new bikes though. Above that, there's the new Kiox, which has got a lot of extra features. It's Bluetooth enabled, so it can talk to your smartphone. Um, it's got a nice color screen and it will give you a load more information. You can also pair it to something like a heart rate monitor if you want to do that. Now, the Neon has been around in Bosch's range for a long time, but it's been radically changed. It used to be a really big unit that sat in the middle of your bars. Um, now it's been redesigned to look more like um, a standard bike GPS unit. It's smaller, it's got a color touch screen in the middle here, and you get a remote here that you can access all the functions from really easily when you're riding. Now, it, it does a lot of the things that the Kiox does. So it's got a color screen, uh, you can connect your smartphone to it using the eBike Connect app, you can connect a heart rate monitor to it, but it has other things as well that the Kiox doesn't have. And one of the main things it has is mapping included. So using the app, you can download uh, open street maps to the device, any, any ones you want to, anywhere in the world. And because the maps contain the topography of the area, so how hilly it is, it can use that information to give you a range estimate based on where you're going. So that's the thing we're going to try today. So this is the mapping screen on the Bosch Neon and you can see at the bottom we have a little menu if I click on that we can go to this it's a battery icon and you can see that if I click on that it'll zoom out the map it'll give you a, a basic range estimate and then after a little while it'll pop up with your more accurate range estimate you can see that it's broadly a circle but it varies in and out depending on which bits you can get to you can see the Bristol Channel obviously is out of bounds so we can't get much past that um, if I change the modes if we move out to sport mode you'll see that the map zooms out and we get a longer range estimate so I'll be able to go a little bit further almost to Taunton and then on tour mode we can go further still I'd be heading to nearly the south coast from here it says this bike has a 625 watt hour battery so it has got quite a decent range so you can see that on turbo mode the Neon is suggesting that I'll be able to get as far down as Gillingham, but let's not push our luck. We're going to aim for Bruton here. So if I go into the search function here, type in Bruton, I'll be able to bring that up and set myself a route. You can see that there are various options for the route here. There's a fast route, that's 37 kilometers. And then there's also a scenic route. So let's select the fast route and then we're ready to go. We'll get turn by turn directions all the way down to our destination. So that's the route in the Neon. Uh, we think we're going to have the range, so let's set off and see how far we get. Let's go. So I'm about halfway through my ride now. Uh, done about 20 kilometers, got 20K left to go, and it's looking good. I think I'm gonna make it. Um, the battery's still over 60%, so you know I think that Neon's been pretty conservative with its uh, range estimate there. And yeah, it said I could get to Gillingham, my chicken out went for Bruton. I probably could have gone all the way. One thing that the Neon does is that it constantly monitors the battery and your route, and it lets you know how you're getting on. At the moment, I've got an amber warning which means that the neon thinks i'm going to be less than 30 percent battery by the time i get to bruton that's fine if it goes red that's a problem that means 
that the Neon doesn't think I'm going to make it there. But I'm in top mode, I'm in turbo mode at the moment, so all I have to do is drop down to Sport or Eco, and then I'll get there no trouble at all. So I'm rolling up another quiet climb, somewhere in Somerset, I'm a little bit lost if I'm honest. But uh, the routing is really good. The, the route the Neon's chosen is the kind of route that I'd probably choose myself. It's a mixture of, you know, quiet B roads, back lanes, there's a few little bits of faster road to, to link things up. But it's excellent. And the GPS navigation, you know, it's, it's, it's just like the GPS in your car. You get a nice little 3D map, proper turn by turn directions. It's very good. There's been one time when it wanted to chuck me off down a bridle way, but I decided against that on this bike, even though it's got chunky tyres. And, you know, the rerouting is very good. It's, it's very quick and it's, it soon found me a different route to the one it had originally suggested. So yeah, no problems at all so far. Uh, got about 15 kilometres to go. If you've been looking at a Bosch powered bike or you've already got one, then you probably don't have a Neon. You probably have a Pura on display or the older Intuvia, possibly a Kiox if your bike's a bit newer. But you know, this is an upgrade that's available to pretty much anyone with a Bosch motor. So who's it for? Well, obviously, the routing is one of the big differences between this and the other units. Now, the Kiox can do a bit of routing, but the routing happens on your phone you get directions to the hedge, you don't get any mapping. Um, the Neon, it's, it's the fully featured GPS experience, you know, proper turn by turn directions, 3D mapping, it's very good. And if you're gonna do touring on your bike, to have point to point stuff, you're gonna be riding in places you don't know, then obviously it's a really good option. One of the other things that's really good about the Neon, and this is true of the Kiox too, is the battery management is excellent. So. If you're used to um, Pura on display or the Intuvia, then you'll be used to the five bars of battery and, you know, getting down to one bar, charging it up. But, you know, if your battery's on two bars, what does that mean? Does it mean it's at 21%? Does it mean it's at 39%? You can't tell. And for me, for my commute, two bars is sometimes enough, sometimes it's not enough, depending on how much is left. The Neon and the Kiox both have a proper percentage display, which is great, it's very granular, and it's very linear. Um, it's brilliant if you suffer from any kind of range anxiety on an e-bike, you know exactly how much power you've got left, you know exactly how much you can use the higher modes and still have enough left to get you home or to get you to brute. So here we are, we've arrived in Bruton a couple of hours later, and I have to say, the experience with the Neon has been really good. Um, it's been a lovely day, that always helps. And the routing on the Neon has been more or less what I would have chosen myself, so that's excellent too. In terms of the range estimate, well, we've arrived in Bruton and the battery is now on 26%. So it's dipped into the orange, it goes orange at under 30, but there's still, you know, there's still a big buffer there we could go plenty further and if anything the neon estimation is probably a little bit conservative but you know you'd rather have it that way around than the other way now this is a ride that I do quite often on a non-powered bike with my friends and you have to say it's a hilly old ride and when you get to Bruton you're pretty much ready for a coffee and a cake but today barely done any work at all it's been great um, and that means you can just enjoy the view more. You know, there's lots of lovely scenery between Bath and Bruton, lots to see, and it's just been great. Been milling around in the sunshine, having a great time. So, you know, it's been a good experience with the Neon today. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more like this from eBike Tips. Hit the bell icon to get notified when we make new vids.